What's up, YouTube? I'm going to be going over a brand new box opening strategy for 2022. Let's get right into it, everybody. So I saw a Monkey Masters video on this, and don't forget to watch theirs and kind of compare both our strategies and see which one works for you. But let's get right into it. This is what I think you should be doing. You should opening any one of these Wonderland box, Medieval, and Breakfast box first. However, there is a caveat here, okay? I'm going to show you this a slightly different strategy. If you notice, the King of Hearts is 0 0.3. If you're a noob, if you're brand new, I would basically get everything in this box and stop at the king of hearts okay so just bear with me okay so pretty much get everything to the mad hatter then move on to the medieval box get everything here but the king now here's the thing if you're opening these boxes and you get the king then just complete the whole box essentially okay then you're gonna go to go to the breakfast box get every get everything in here to even the pizza right so there's pretty much these two Kind of wait until, uh, you know, you don't have to get the king necessarily. You don't have to get the king of hearts necessarily, but everything inside. Breakfast box completed. Do that first because these are 15 coins each. And then here's the bonus tip. Do not, I repeat, do not sell any of the extra blukes. Like over here and you're like your blue locker. Don't sell any of the extras. Like, oh no, I only have one door mouse. Okay, don't, don't sell any extras. The reason why is because if trading does happen, in season four or season five, then you're going to have an extra, you know, surplus of those blues. And then also you'll always have coins in the bank. Let's just pretend uh, our, our, our uh, tokens to resell because you can just, you can kind of just resell these and get, you know, if I sell this, I'll get like some extra, extra cash because you don't want to be left in a position where you don't have cash. So either leave them in there because of trading or because of cash. I know everyone wants to resell them and continue. Don't, especially also with hacks now, everybody. Everyone's getting banned. Not everybody, but you could get banned, soft banned, permanently banned forever, essentially. So it just takes longer to get these blukes in general, all right? So just do that initially. After that, directly go to the bot box. Same strategy. Get everything up to the brainy, the brainy bot. Skip the mega. Obviously, if you get the mega, then continue to get everything else. Then go to the aquatic box, same thing. Get everything up to the narwhal. Skip baby shark and, and baby shark and megalodon. Again, if you get baby shark and megalodon, continue. Go jump to the space box here. Get everything but the uh, colored astronauts, uh, black, red, pink, all that, right? Uh, then go automatically to safari box and get everything but the lion and rainbow panda once you got pretty much all the commons uncommons legendaries all that go back and then go to the wonderland box and try to get the king of hearts then go back to the uh medieval box get the king and then potentially if you didn't get the you know if you didn't get the pizza or whatever go back and get that do those first because they're only 15 coins each even though this is a 0 0.3, and you're thinking like, oh, it's a 0 0.3. Like, that's almost the same thing as a mega. However, right, see the mega is 0 0.3. However, this one's cheaper, right? Then go back up here and go get the mega. Now, here's the point of contention. I want to hear your, your comments below right here. A lot of people want to dump their money in the space box, aquatic, and, and safari. I think you should dump your money into whatever box is cheapest. Come here and get the baby shark, okay, at 0 0.5. Then you're gonna make a decision here. Okay, whoops. You're gonna get the baby shark and megalodon. And now here's where you have to make a decision. A lot of people don't care. Like they really want that rainbow panda. They really want the colored astronauts. I think you should go by either money, tokens, and percentages. So check it out. This space box is actually a higher percentage to get the black astronaut, which is a chroma. Okay, and it's cheaper. So I would spend the majority of my time trying to get that. Then go to the Safari box because look, it's a 0 0.02, right? Uh, and it's also more expensive. But that's the order I would go in. And I guess the overall strategy is this don't sell any extras, do get everything up to like essentially epic ish, epic ish, right? If you're lucky, you might get it. And Chroma's last. Stop like dumping all your money into this and then dumping money. Everyone wants to be a completist. Just kind of jump around, be strategic, get the cheaper ones first, right? Save the Safari and Space Box last because those chrom chromas are, are going to be more difficult. And definitely this one here is last because this, this is more expensive. And that 
That chroma is, you know, basically the hardest one to get in Blookit besides the Blizzard box, which is essentially the, 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 the Frost Wreath, everybody. But leave it in the comments below what you're doing. I really, really think that not selling is going to help you have tokens in the bank. It's going to help you with trading. And in general, these box opening uh, tips are going to help you because a lot of people are getting banned with those automatic box opener hacks. You got to be careful. Now you got to be more strategic. You got to take a lot more time. Overall, I think it's going to take you about six months to a year of Blook It to get the majority of the blue. Because you can kind of see me right here. Right? I've been playing for a while, but I kind of just like dumped my coins and getting chromas and I pretty much got everything. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below what you're going to do. Don't subscribe. Don't like this video. Just make it a free chroma.